Hi, everybody. So sometimes in my live videos, I don't get to film um, a cool down just because of the length of the videos. And um, so, and I know a lot of times people can cool down on their own, but I thought I would just give you guys an upper body cool down today. So we're going to go to the floor. Um, you can have a mat if you have one. Um, if you don't, the ground should be just fine. We're gonna come down into a child's pose actually to start. The reason we're gonna do this is we're just gonna bring our arms out all the way out in front of us. That way we can stretch and lengthen through the lats and then open up the chest, try to bring the head and the chest down towards the floor as much as you can. We're just gonna hold this here for a few breaths as you walk your hands out a little bit further, if you can at a time. You're gonna turn your head to the right and then try to just walk it out a little bit here. Feel the stretch. Bring the palms or the blade of the hand pinky down. Tilt your head to the other side. This is also good for your hips as well. Okay, we're just, we're using it in this cool down for our upper body, talking about it that way, but this is a great stretch for everything, lower body or upper. And then we're just gonna come on out. We're gonna roll through. We're gonna find this cat and dog, dog or cat and cow position, excuse me. Exhale, inhale, find that cat. Bring that belly button in and up into the spine. Bring the mid back up to the ceiling and then do the opposite, press that belly down towards the floor. This is also a really awesome exercise or movement for pregnancy. You haven't been able to tell that I'm pregnant by now. Exhale, press the shoulders away from the ears. One more, you can bring that head up to that stretch out that neck and throat. You can give yourself a little rock here, forward and back. And then exhale. And then you can come on out depending on if you did some upper body uh, or some core with your upper body. I'm gonna stretch out that midsection, that core here. Feeling that stomach open up. And then we're gonna sit back. We're gonna take that child's pose once again, but bring your right arm underneath now. And then just slightly sit back. I'm not gonna go as far here. We're gonna feel a stretch through the shoulder of the right arm. So coming from the front here, obviously I'm sweaty, so I just did an upper body workout, which is why I'm filming this right now, if that makes sense. So do so, and then switch, find your left arm. Notice I'm rotating my shoulder away from my ear too. Okay, so you want to activate that scapula. And just pressing lightly, you might not even be down this far, that's fine. And then release it. We're gonna bring, I'm gonna bring my knees a little bit wider here. I'm gonna bring my right arm out, okay? And I'm just gonna press gently down, see if I can hit the floor, okay? And then I'm just gonna use my left arm gently to just press slightly. And I'm gonna feel a deep stretch in my chest and front delt. I'm barely pressing here. It's just enough to feel it, almost like you're doing a stretch in between the door here, okay? and then come up and release, and then bring the other side. And you might not even feel the stretch. If you're not tight at all, you might not even feel this at all. So you're just rotating, right? You're gonna rotate through the spine a little bit here. So only go until you feel a slight stretch. You don't want any pain, shooting pain, no tingling down the fingers. <laughs> that could mean there's something else going on or not somewhere. and then press it up. You can hold that a little bit longer if you need to. Find that down dog position. We're gonna open up that chest, so press those hips up toward the floor. Yes, you're gonna feel your lower body as well here, but we're gonna focus on our chest and our arms. So press your head through your arms here. Pushing, I'll come back this way. Pushing through the 
your head through your arms, opening up that chest. You're going to bring your right arm, okay, to your left leg. And what we're going to do here is we're going to press down through the heel and we're going to be pulling on our leg at the same time. What that's going to do is you're going to feel a stretch in your mid upper back. So release the head, release the tension. I guarantee you're going to feel this. So it's this opposite pulling motion here. I'm pulling on my leg, my leg's resisting my arm pull. And release. And switch. Ooh, I feel a very deep stretch when I do this. Right underneath the shoulder blade, the scapula, right in that section right there, that's where I always really feel this the most. It's where I tend to be the most tight, get the most knots. And that's kind of what we're focusing on right here. And release it. And then you can walk on that. Head comes up last. Bring your hands straight down towards the floor. And then tilt that head. Ooh, see my neck's really tight today. Tilt your head to one direction. And you're gonna feel that stretch in the neck, possibly into the shoulder, depending on how tight you are. You can give yourself a little roll forward and back. Just a little movement here. I'm only moving about an inch or two forward and an inch or two back. And then release. I feel this a lot because I'm already not sleeping very well pregnant. So a little bit forward. Pressing those shoulders away from the ears. You might even want to do this a few times on each side. And then tilt your head forward here. Bring your hands together. Press those arms out, straight out. Separating the shoulder blades. Inhale, bring those arms up. And then drop your right arm back behind you. Try to pull below the elbow here. All right, now if you don't, if you're not able to pull below the elbow or you're fine, you can't get your arm up that much, you probably have a lot of lat and triceps um, tension, right? You're not flexible through those muscles. Doing this could help you. There's other exercises too, but I'm trying to keep this with just no band, no, no assisted exercise or assisted um, stretching tools here. Just us and the floor or that's it. Maybe Matt. Feel that tricep stretch, stretch, stretch. And now if you cannot feel that stretch, one way to do this is to also hit your lats. Okay, so you're going to come onto a wall. Here, this is also just a little bit, better, a little bit better too for your lats. I'm going to show you my butt here. But we're going to bring our arm up towards the ceiling and then you're just going to press down. So from the side, I have my rack, right? I'm going to press here. It works better on the wall though, okay, just so you can see the side view. Right, blade of my arm and hand is down, so my pinkies are on the wall, my thumbs up to the ceiling as I come on down. And then you can switch sides. Feeling that stretch. Another, vari another variation of this to add the side body in. So you can hold those for anywhere from like 15 to 30 seconds. You might also need a forearm or a bicep stretch. Um, one area that's a little bit hard to stretch, right? You can do it standing. Um, you could also do it if you're really tight, you really want a little bit more. I recommend doing this one arm at a time. Um, and I don't have the greatest flexibility in my wrists. So my palm and my hand doesn't even go all the way down on my right side. But this side will, right? And then just like a slight lean back, you're gonna feel that stretch through the forearm. 
Not as much in the bicep, unless your bicep's super, super tight, and then you would probably feel it more. Bicep's a hard muscle to stretch. There's not, this isn't, this isn't, bi, this is stretched for a bicep. <laughs> so, but this does help you with your forearms, especially with holding a lot of weights and the workouts that I do, they, they tend to be a lot of grip, you know, it's gonna be a lot of grip strength just because I do a lot of reps. And then you can roll out those wrists. Try to bring palms together and then the back of the hands together. Both directions. And that's it. You're done. So hopefully those stretches are helpful to you guys. Um, any comments or feedback you have on it is always welcome. Thank you.